people all over this world. Yeah, people all over this world. Say people all over this world, they're looking for Jesus. Hello, my friend. It's me again, Bishop John R. Stevenson. I'd like to welcome you to another edition of It's a Word Thing. Glory to God. Father, we thank you so very much for yet another opportunity to study the Word of God, to be led by your Spirit, to get deep revelation, Father, of the Word of God. We ask in the name of Jesus, Father, that you will open the eyes of our understanding, Father, in the name of Jesus, and make it clear to us what you are saying to us. Make it clear. Touch the spiritual ears and the eyes of your people, Father, in the name of Jesus, so they don't miss you in the teaching. Father, I thank you for the anointing that's upon my life to preach and teach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ with power and authority. God, I thank you for your Holy Spirit, truly, that gives me the ability to be the pastor, the teacher, and the bishop that you've called me to be. I thank you for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you've given me in the Word of God to teach your people. So I pray now that they will all be receptive, God, to whatever it is that you're saying in and through your spirit today. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. So, so friends, we've been, we've been dealing with the subject of doing it in the spirit, doing it in the spirit. And, I, and, and God is wanting us to look at, find out what that is because it's, it's, it's very evident that, that the church at large don't know what that is, don't understand what it is or what it means really to do it in the spirit. And so we were just talking about how it was that God created man. He, he did everything in the spirit. He created man in the spirit. He led man by his spirit because he created the garden. And then, friend, he took the man and placed him there. So man was never supposed to be led by his own self. Man, humanity is never supposed to have been uh, under his own guidelines, under his own power. It's never supposed to have been like that for man. And so we ended in, we were in Genesis, our last uh, broadcast, our last time together, we ended in Genesis chapter 2, and we were looking at verses 8 and 15 and, and tw through 25, and it, it, the Bible was showing us how God was leading the man and how God gave the man instructions, watch for him, to help him stay in the spirit to help him stay in the spirit. He's created in the spirit. God has placed him. Everything about him is spiritual things. It's all spiritual things. And so God gave him instructions to keep him in the spirit. And so I want to read something to you that I kind of pinned in the, in, in the notes here. And this is what the Holy Spirit had me to write down. Watch this. Adam and Eve was in the spirit as long as they was obedient to God. Adam and Eve were in the spirit as long as they were in obedience to God, friend disobedience moved them out of the spirit. Disobedience moved them out of the spirit. Friend, they're in the spirit, but disobedience moved them out of the spirit. Watch this other thing I pinned right here to the right. That's where God want us to live. That's where God want us to live. Where he want us to live, friend? In the spirit. He want us to live in the spirit. And the way we do that, friend, is to to be obedient to God. And as long as Adam and Eve was obeying God, friend, they were in the spirit. But as soon as they disobeyed God, friend, as soon as they disobeyed God, they were no longer in the spirit. Let me read this right here because we're going to go to Genesis chapter 3, starting at verse 1 through 7. The devil comes to move us out of the spirit. They are in the spirit. They are walking in obedience to God. And here comes the serpent. And the serpent's job is to come to move you out of the spirit. Friend, that's where you are as a born-again believer. When you get born again, when you become a Christian, you are in the spirit now. You are in the spirit. And at that moment, you're led by, you're being led by the Holy Spirit of God, whether you understand all that or not, friend. From the moment you get saved, and I'm going to show it to you in Scripture, from the moment you get saved, friend, you are led by the Spirit. That's how we were created. From the moment we were, from the moment we were created, we were led by the Spirit. So, from the moment you are born again, friend, you are led by the Spirit. The same way, friend, the same way. Same way. And so, let's take a look, because the devil comes to move us out of the Spirit. To get us into the flesh, because if he do that, watch this. Remember, remember last telecast, God said to us that the spirit is our happy place. That's our happy place, friend. That, that's the place to where man didn't struggle. No, Adam and Eve don't struggle in that place. It's, it's once they fall, 
is once they get into disobedience and get into sin, that's when the struggle comes. That's when sickness, that's when poverty, that's when death, that's when everything comes, all that comes, friend, once we are out of the spirit, once we are out from under the influence of God, that's what happens. So watch this, friend, watch this. Let's take a look over here in Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 7, because they are in the spirit. And as long as they don't disobey God, friend, they're in the spirit. As long as they walk in obedience with God, friend, they're in the spirit. Friend, listen. Listen to the Holy Spirit right now. We're spending too much time, friend, working, trying to get in the spirit because of what we've been taught by people, friend. Because of what we, but if we get in the word of God, friend, please get your Bible. Please get your Bible, friend. Don't just listen to me. Yes, I am being led by the Holy Spirit right now, but I want you to get your Bible out, friend. Get your Bible out and walk this thing with me. Walk this thing with me, friend, so that you can understand it, so you can see for yourself that I'm not just making stuff up, friend. Friend, listen, I couldn't make this up. I couldn't make this up, friend. I want to show you. They're in the Spirit because they listen to God. They're obeying God. they in the Spirit. Watch this, friend. There's no sin in the garden. There's no sin in the garden. So they in the spirit, friend. There's no sin there. Sin, watch now. The opportunity for sin is there. So here comes the serpent. Watch, friend, watch. We're in Genesis chapter 3, starting at verse number 1 to verse 7. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree, in the garden. Watch now. She's in the spirit. Watch now. Watch now. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Watch, friend. She's still in the spirit. There's no sin. Even though she's talking to the devil, even though she's talking to the serpent, she's not in sin. She's not in sin, friend. She hasn't disobeyed God. So she's still in the spirit because she hasn't disobeyed God yet. Watch now, friend. Verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God knoweth that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Watch now. And you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So watch this, friend. Watch this. She's still in the spirit, friend, because she hasn't disobeyed God. She's still in the spirit. Right now, she's being tempted. You being tempted is not in the flesh. You're not in the flesh because you're being tempted, friend. Flesh, watch this. You're in the flesh when you succumb to temptation because temptation always wants to please the flesh, want to give you what you want, how you want it, when you want it, like you want it. That's when you're in sin, friend. That's when you're out of the spirit, friend. But as long as she don't disobey God, friend, she's still in the spirit. She's just, she just being tempted right now. Yeah, she's being tempted. So she, being tempted is not a sin. It's me succumbing to the temptation. Watch, friend. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Verse 6. And when the woman saw, now, 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 friend, now, friend, now she's, now she's in the flesh. Now she's out of the spirit. Now watch this. Now she's out of the spirit because, because now she's seeing things the way the serpent said it instead of the way God intended for her to see it. Now he's painted this picture. He's made her see things different than what God said. That's when you, now you in the flesh. Now you moving into sin now, friend. Now you out of the spirit. Watch now, friend, watch. Verse 6, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was, and that it was, was pleasant to the eye and a tree to be desired to make one wise, watch this, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and they did eat. They out of the spirit, friend. They out of the spirit. They in sin. They in flesh right now. And from that moment, they separated from God because they disobeyed God. Now they under the influence, friend, of another spirit. They under the auspices and the influence of another spirit now, friend. And so now they're not walking with God anymore because they sinned against God. And the sad thing is nobody repents. We're going to get there, friend, because repentance gets you back in the spirit. God come. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me help you with this. Let me finish this before I go. Watch, friend, watch. 
And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. Watch this. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. You see that, friend? And made themselves aprons. Watch. Now they're trying to cover up. Now they're trying to cover up the flesh. They're in the flesh because now they see. Friend, please, please, please listen to the Holy Spirit right now. Now because they in the flesh right now, because, because they out of the spirit, they in the flesh, and so now they can see flesh. Lord have mercy, man. Lord have mercy. I hope, I, hope somebody, I hope somebody praying right now. I hope somebody really praying right now and getting the revelation that God is giving you right now. It wasn't until they got out of the spirit, friend, that they could see the flesh, that they could see each other's nakedness. Lord have mercy. It's amazing the things that God protects us from when we in the spirit. It's amazing the things that we can't see when we in the spirit. I'm talking about pertaining to the flesh. I'm talking about pertaining to the flesh, friend. It's amazing what you can't see when you're in the spirit. Things that you're not supposed to see, friend. God don't want us focusing on flesh. He don't want us focusing on flesh, uh, friend. He wants us to focus on the spirit. He wants us to be in the spirit, live from that place, friend, because that's the happy place. There's no more happiness with Adam and Eve right now. There's no more happiness right now because let, let's, let's go farther, let's go farther, let's go farther. Watch this. This is, how, this is how we know they're no longer in the spirit because God is looking for them, friend. God is looking for them now. Listen to this. Listen, I, 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 I pin this. To, watch this. Do what you're told so you will. Do what you're told so you'll stay in the spirit. Obeying God will keep you there. Do what you're told so you stay in the spirit. Do what you're told, friend. So you stay in the spirit. Glory to God. Do what you're told, friend. So you stay in the spirit. Obey the word of God. Obey God. It'll keep you in the spirit, friend. Uh, again, again, friend. I'm all about the spiritual gifts. I'm all about the spiritual gifts. I'm, I'm all about it, friend. I, I believe in it all. But let me say something to you. We have put so much focus on this. The only way you can get in the spirit is either you praying in tongues or you speaking in tongues, friend. And that is so far from the truth. It is a part of doing things in the spirit, but it's a very small part of doing it in the spirit. So my question would be to all of us. OK, so where are you when you're not in tongues? Where are you when you're not praying in tongues or speaking? In, where are you? Where are you when you're not operating some spiritual gift? Where are you? You mean to tell me you, you're not in the spirit? No, friend, you're in the spirit. We live from that place. We've been created in that place. But we, in the book of Acts in chapter 2, the reason we're so messed up in, in that passage is because we forget what the subject in Acts chapter 2 is. It's not tongues, friend, it's the spirit. The subject is the spirit. In Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost, the subject is not tongues. The subject is the spirit because that's what God promised. He promised that the spirit of God would come. The evidence of that spirit coming for that day was tongues. But, as, but we've made tongues the subject of Acts chapter 2, and that's not the subject. The subject is, we got to get back to the subject, friend. We got to get back to the subject, and the subject is doing it in the spirit. Let's get back to the subject, and let's not make spiritual gifts the subject. They are just fruit of the spirit. They're just a part of us having the spirit of God. Let's not make them the most important thing because the most important thing, friend, is the spirit himself. Because without the spirit of God, we can't do it, friend. Doing it in the spirit, doing it in the spirit. Adam and Eve are no longer in the spirit. They're no longer in the spirit because now, watch now, God is looking for them. If they had to continue to obey God, they would have stayed in the spirit. Somebody, somebody got to stay in the spirit, friend. We can't all be in the flesh. Somebody got to do it in the spirit, friend, so that we stay there in that place so we can operate from that. Friend, I, can, I tell you, I can, I can tell when the spirit changes. I can tell when people are feeling some kind of way about what I'm teaching right now. Friend, I'm operating in the Holy Ghost. I am operating in the Holy Ghost, being led by the Holy Ghost to teach what I'm teaching right now, friend. And if you really save, guess what? If you really save, friend, you got the Holy Ghost and your spirit going to bear witness to this, friend. Your spirit going to bear witness to this because Bishop not in his flesh. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, listen now. 
God is looking for them now. If I'm in the spirit, God is not God is not looking for me. God don't have to look for me if I'm in the spirit, friend. It's when I get out of the spirit. When I get out of the spirit, friend, God has to look for me now. God know where I'm at. He's looking to show me where I'm at, to show me. Conviction comes, friend, when you out of the spirit. When you in your flesh, conviction comes. That's God showing up saying, where are you? That's God saying, where are you, friend? When conviction comes, uh-huh, okay, uh huh. Okay. The world, when I was in the world, I didn't know nothing about conviction. I said, my conscience bothered me. Your conscience is conviction, and that's the Spirit of God saying to you, where are you right now? Where are you? Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Acts, uh, I mean, Genesis chapter 3, verse number 8. Watch now, friend, watch. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife, watch this, hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees and among the God. Why are they hiding from God, friend? Listen, when we're not in the spirit, God, Lord have mercy. When we're not in the spirit and we in our flesh, you know what we do? We hide from the presence of God. You want me to show you how we do that, friend? We stop coming to church. We stop answering the phone when our Christian brothers call us to check on us. We stop answering the phone. We don't come to church. We don't come to Bible study. We, won't go, we don't go nowhere near the people of God. You know why? Because I'm in my flesh. I'm out of the spirit. Uh, Y'all don't like that right there. It's a, listen, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sign that you're out of the spirit. When you ignoring the people of God, you ignoring the man of God, you ignoring the people of God, the things of God, it's a sign, friend, that's the evidence that you're out of the spirit. They out of the spirit. So they hiding from God. They hiding from the presence of God because they out of the spirit, because they in the flesh, because they done disobeyed God, friend. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Verse 9, and the Lord God called uh, unto Adam and said unto him, where art thou? And he said, I heard the voice, I heard thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Watch this, friend. I'm in the flesh. I'm, I'm hiding myself because I'm in the flesh. I'm no longer in the spirit. I'm in the flesh. So I'm hiding myself. Watch what God says. Watch what God says. Verse 11. And he said, who told thee that thou were naked? Have thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat from it? You see that, friend? He said, who told you that? My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. He said, have you disobeyed me? Because that's the only way they could have known. That's the only way they could have known, friend, because they disobeyed God. Before that, they didn't know because they was in the spirit. They wasn't in the flesh. Lord have mercy, man. I'm, 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 I'm working with this. I'm working with this. Watch now, friend. Watch now. Because we're going to read all the way to verse number 24 of the, law, the, the, the time allows. Watch this. Verse number 12. And the man said, the woman whom thou gave to, to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou have done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me and I did eat. You see myself, you see friend, once we get out of the spirit, we start pointing the finger at other people. We won't take responsibility for our own actions and our own behavior. We start blaming other people for it, friend. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It ain't never my fault when I'm, when I'm in the flesh. It's always somebody else's fault. Verse 14, and the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou Thou have done this. Thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go, and the dust and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. Watch now. Nothing good is happening in the in the flesh. Nothing good happens once I'm out of the spirit. Watch verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the seed of the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and that shall and, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Watch, friend. Verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrows and, and thy conception in sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children and thou and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. Look, they no longer in the happy place, friend. They no longer in the happy place. Now they got to struggle, friend. When you are in your flesh, you struggle. There's no happiness in the flesh, friend. There's no joy. There's no peace in the flesh, friend. Watch what he said in verse 17. And unto Adam he said, because thou have hearkened unto the voice of the woman. 
See, she is under the influence of the devil. He's under the influence of the woman who's under the influence of the devil. Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of, the, of thy woman and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Look, he said, now sorrow has come because you're out of the spirit, friend. When you're out of the spirit of God, when, you, when you're out of the spirit, when you're not doing it in the spirit, friend, all kinds of turmoil comes. All kinds of tragedy comes. Verse number 18, he said, thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee and thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. Verse 19, and in the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for, for dust thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. Look at what God is telling them because they're in the flesh, friend, because they're out of the spirit. Look at the hardship that comes when we're not doing it in the spirit, friend. Verse number 20, and Adam called his wife named Eve because she was the mother of all living. Verse 21, unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin to clothe them. This is God, this is God attempt to get them back in the spirit, but it's going to take, listen, that animal, that animal that had to give up his life, friend, was the blood. That was, that was a representation of Jesus being the savior. So that blood had to be shed. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Verse number 22, and the Lord God beheld the man behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand to take of the tree of life and eat and live forever in sin. If he take of the tree of life now and eat, he will live in sin forever, friend. He'll never be able to get back into the spirit where he was created to be. Watch this now. Verse 23, therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. Verse 24, so he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims with flaming swords which turn every way, watch now, to keep the way of the tree of life, to keep man from getting back to the place to where he'd never be able to be in the spirit again. We were created in that place, friend. God expects us to live from that place. We're not supposed to be trying to get into the spirit. As born again believers, we in the spirit, that's what we operate from. Our position now though is, because the enemy is going through like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, looking for somewhere to go. What the Bible says is we're supposed to take, give no place to the devil, friend, so that we stay in the spirit. So that we stay in the, in the spirit. Glory to God, man. Glory to God. Glory to God. Conviction comes when I'm no longer in the spirit. God comes looking for us when I'm no longer in the spirit. That's when God comes. Look at everything that happened to Adam and Eve because they were no longer in the spirit. Hallelujah, because they're no longer in the spirit. In Luke chapter 23, in Luke chapter 23, I want to try to deal with this before we end. Luke chapter 23, there's a group of people that's in the flesh. Jesus is on Mount Calvary, he's on Mount Calvary, he's on the cross. And there are a group of people that are in the flesh. They're in the flesh, they're not in the spirit. And one of the, one of the thieves that's on the cross, friend, one of the thieves that's on the cross, let me show you how he gets back in the spirit because Jesus is the one that gets us back in the spirit. <clears throat> God uses Jesus to get us back in the, in the spirit. They're in the flesh, they're having this conversation. And I want to start at verse number 36. Verse number 36, listen to what it says. <clears throat> And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar and saying, if thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. Verse 38. And a uh, superscription also was written over him in, in letters of Greek, uh, Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. Watch now. This is the king of Jews. Verse 39. And one of the male factors which hanged uh, railed on him saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and us. Verse 40. But the other answered and rebuked him. Watch now, he's in the flesh, but he's getting in the spirit right now. Watch now, watch now. But one of the male factors which were uh, hang railed on him and, and said, if thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. Verse 40 says, but the other answered and rebuked him saying, do not thou fear God, seeing that thou art in the same condemnation. Verse 41, 
and we indeed justly for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man have done nothing amiss. He's getting in the spirit, friend. He's getting back in the spirit right now. Watch this. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou come into thy kingdom. And Jesus said in verse 43, and Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. That man just got back in the spirit, friend. He just got back in the place to where he was created from. Even though he's on his deathbed, Jesus says, today you will be with me in paradise, friend. Doing it in the spirit. The thief decided, friend, that he was going to get out of his flesh and stop blaming God for, for, for the situation and the circumstances in his life. He decided he was going to take responsibility for the, the mess up that he done created in his own life. It wasn't Jesus' fault he was, he was getting ready to die, that he was being crucified. It wasn't Jesus' fault. And so he came to that realization, friend. He said, look, he said, this man has done nothing, nothing to warrant what's happening to him. But we, on the other hand, we deserve everything we're getting. And so because that was repenting, friend, that was turning around. And then he looks at Jesus, friend, he said, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Friend, you can learn how to do it in the spirit too. Today can be the day that you cry to Jesus and tell him that you sorry and that you stop blaming him for where you are in your life. Every decision you made, friend, got you where you are today. Not God. Every decision you made, friend. See, a lot of people don't like to hear that they're wrong. Well, friend, you're wrong. You're wrong. And God is right. And if you want to ever be right, you're going to have to become the righteousness of God. You're going to have to get with God, and you're going to have to start living for God and following him if you're going to ever be right, friend. Without him, you're never going to be right. You're never going to get it right. It's never going to feel right. It's never going to look right. It's never going to be right. You'll never find the right one, whether it be a mate or a job. You'll never find the right one, friend. It'll never be right until you get right with God and start doing it in the spirit. Friend, I've enjoyed. I, I, I so enjoy the word of God. I so, so enjoy the word of God. And I enjoy sharing the word of God with you. And my prayer for you, friend, is, is that you will follow the teaching and that you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, my friend, lead you into the truth so that you can learn how to do this thing in the spirit. We so fleshy, friend. We're doing so much in the flesh, and it's not pleasing God at all. And God used Jesus to get us in the spirit. And so on the next broadcast, we're going to talk about how it is that God used Jesus to get us back in the spirit, to get us back into the happy place. Friend, I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have. My prayer is that you will open the door and allow Jesus to come into your life. My time is over right now. I want to tell you how much I love you and appreciate you. And I thank you for allowing me to spend this time with you, my friend. So until we meet again, until we sit down at the word of God again together, this is Bishop John R. Stevenson saying I love you to life. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you is my prayer for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye, friend. Until next time. Bye-bye now. People all over this world, yeah. People all over this world. Say people all over this world, they're looking for Jesus.